one, two, three. Well, right after 9-11, Bush made one of his grand decrees. He said, we gotta fight terrorism over there in those African countries. So he put his plan into action, and they called it AFRICOM. That's military bases in Africa for the U.S. to operate from. It's a policy that they pursued for all of his eight long years. And it has been continued. Obama's been grinding on those gears. But many African nations, well, this makes it their blood boil. Just as we wouldn't want any foreign troops based here on American soil. And speaking of words that rhyme with soil, they say they gotta fight terrorism. Ain't it funny how there's always, always oil? Countries rich with dinosaur juice. Let the militarization commence. I don't think that that's random. No, it's not a coincidence. Now we're gonna change the subject. Talk about invisible children and their very successful video and their call to action. They're calling for American troops. Yes, they're calling for war. They're calling for the very same thing that AFRICOM called for. Now what I'm not suggesting, I'll say it again. What I'm not suggesting is that invisible children has any ulterior motives or is in cahoots with the government. But for 11 years now, AFRICOM has sought to militarize Africa. Now it has the support of millions of Facebook allies. But I don't think war's the answer. Less violence, not more. And where there is oil, I'm even less convinced than I was before. Let's stop our dependence on foreign oil. That's the real sacrifice. Not sending troops to kill and die while we sit on Facebook, and Twitter, and YouTube, and Tumblr, and Reddit, and the internet. All warm and cozy and nice. Yeah. Okay.